Hi everybody, welcome to Big Sky Beauty. I'm Julie, and today is the day that I just do whatever. Um, I, I'm trying to make it your requests, okay? And so today's Whatever Wednesday is crappers. I have been getting so many of you asking me to do just all crappers, you know, basically products to stay away from, that don't waste your money, you know, whatever. So I have gathered up the ones that have been the most prolific, <laughs> you know, like products that you feel like you were just bent over and, you know, put the screws to, even if it was only a buck, you know, God, how did they ever put this on the market? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. So I am actually kind of working on a little bit of delirium <laughs> and I have never experienced this before. I am literally kind of dizzy and lightheaded. Um, I was up till one o'clock this morning um, getting the uh, blah, blah, DIY video that I just uploaded all edited and stuff and then when I I went to bed at 1, 1 and then I woke up at 3.30 and had my kid over to Butte to catch the bus um, by 5.30 so I'm literally going on two hours of sleep and then when I got home I just had things to do and I couldn't you know go back to bed which is what I was in that was my intentions, and it, but it just didn't happen. You know, by the time I get home, the sun's coming up, the birds are chirping, I'm getting my second wind, and then, you know, of course, by 10 or 11, I'm like, uh, brains, <laughs> you know. And by then, I was engulfed in the day, and so, yeah. I am quite literally working on delirium from, you know, like five hours of sleep in the last three days. So, anyways, uh... The crappers. Everything I'm going to show you today really suck butt and let's get started. This one really bums me out because I love Bare Minerals. I am a huge Bare Mineral fan. But I got this little brush. Okay, this is a uh, this is a little brush that came in um, one of those little kits that came out a little bit before Christmas where you got the two mineral eyeshadows and Gosh, you know what? I don't even remember what else you got with it. But um, I got the two mineral eyeshadows. One is Cherry Cocoa Truffle, and the other one's Sultry. Love the eyeshadows. But this is the little brush that came with it. And I'll tell you, being the brush holder that I am, when I get a kit like this, because I've got more minerals than I will ever use, and I've got all the bare essentials. Uh, these were special editions, so I don't have these. So I'm glad I got those. But, you know, the brush is a main player in anything that I purchase. If it has brushes in it, I'm on it. You know, usually. <laughs> I was going to try to explain that away, but no, no, I usually am. And it came with this little eye shaper, the little Bare Minerals eye shaper. You see it's a blunt, it's a blunt cut at an angle. Um, it's got a pretty fat, you know, a pretty fat head um, to it. I don't know what is wrong with this brush or what Bare Minerals used to make this brush with, but when I use it, I feel like I have got an SOS pad to my upper eyelid. I'm serious. I've washed it with, uh, you know, I've washed it with uber conditioning, you know, ingredients. I've rubbed um, argon oil into it or, you know, yeah, argon oil. I've rubbed oil into it and tried to soften it up and I just can't do it. This thing feels literally like it is the worst quality brush that I have ever owned and it's not I haven't seen a hair come out but man on my eyeball that thing is absolutely painful so yeah boo on bare minerals because I love bare minerals but this brush really sucks and that and that blows too because the you know the ferrule and the handle are really nice they're really nice ones much nicer than um let's say this little travel kit I got oh my gosh years ago um, they've got the little clear handles, you know. They look like classic dollar store brushes. Although they're not. These are really nice brushes. I love these. But this one... Eee, ah, oh! Yeah, don't like that at all. And I've tried over and over and over. And I just can't get it to work for me. Okay, so, crapper number two. And I really hate to say this because I had high hopes. But it has been two, two and a half weeks now, and I've been using these, or trying to use these, every single day, and they both just do not work. At least not for me. And I don't really see how this poor minimizer would work for anybody. I don't know what it's made of, I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it is just like this weird liquidy, or weird milky liquid, that is super runny, which I actually don't, I don't, I actually don't mind that. And when I go into Ulta or wherever and test out a new 
you know, poor product. I'll put it on the back of my hand and look, and I can tell. And I don't see anything. Um, it's so strong, it burns your eyes. I think this is just kind of a an icky product all the way around. I'm sorry, Pure Minerals. And I will say, I'm not giving up on you yet, because these are the only two products. That's right. My second, or my third product is this uh, highlighting powder. Pure Radiance, Pure Radiance Highlighting Powder. Um... This just does not work for me. And this was in my, I think this was my stinker on my last Saturday smileys. Um, this has just got too too much chunky glitter in it. It's one of those classic products that the highlighter in it is, you know, a glitter bomb. And I just don't like it. And because it is way too sunny out there, you guys ain't going to be able to see any swatches I really show you, so I'm not even going to bother. Which, this is just a pink powder, so, you know. Um, but yeah, you're not going to see the, I don't think you're going to see the glitter in it. But yeah, it's just, it's just kind of really terrible. <laughs> and I can't get it to work for me at all. But like I said, um, I, I'm not going to give up. These are the only two Pure Minerals products that I've ever tried. And um, I have certainly tried a new brand right off the bat with more than two products and not liked any of it and then went back sometime later to try it again and loved it so I'm not gonna stop here I've heard you know considerable amount of things about this company also I follow them on Instagram and they almost always respond to my posts that I might say something on and I think that's really cool so I'm not gonna give up on them for anything else because they have good PR and that it means something it really does okay my next stinker, and I gotta say, I can't really think of a whole lot of things of this brand that I like. And I think it's just because of my skin, or because of my age. But, um, I showed you guys these a while back. I got in a, uh, actually, I think I showed you my last elf haul. They are the, uh, I might not have showed you. I might have edited it out. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's new. They're the new Hard Candy Highlight and Contour Cheek Duo. Okay? And the concept is great. Nice and easy. Um, this one is a bronzer. Well, it's not. It's just, it's kind of a, a bronzy looking blush. Here's the blush, and the highlighter is right over here. Now, the concept is that you just place it on your cheek strategically and, you know, swipe it up, and then you blend it, and you've got your blush and your highlight. But, yeah, that's not even remotely close to what happens. <laughs> Basically, what you do is you just swipe a greasy stick on your cheek and then rub it around. <laughs> okay, first of all, can you even really see the colors? Let me see if I... I might have given the other one to my kid. I bought a pink one as well. Um, and I did. I gave it to my daughter. She liked it. But I bought one that had pink, like a pink blush, and then the highlighter was just a, a white, you know, a, a clear. And it looked great on her really fair skin, on her really fair 18-year-old skin. It showed up. It looked good. Um, but, yeah, this doesn't, I don't think this looks good at all on my skin. Okay, now here I'm going to swatch it. Are you able, yeah, you can see that a little bit. But you see how, um, I don't know, coppery that is, how goldy that is. It's just, it's just not good for old skin, <laughs> period. It's just not good. And my brain isn't working well enough right near now, right near, <laughs> right now to explain to you why this is just not good for old skin, but it's not. And I really don't think that Hard Candy um, markets their products for older skin, anyways. So you know, no big, no big shock there. Okay, um, and uh, again, this is not March crappers. It's not anything like that. This is just all time products that I have purchased in and I've just been pulling them out what's you know here close that were just so bad they made it into this video and these two compacts or these two what are the palettes they're um quads these two quads from Maybelline were the worst Maybelline products I think I've ever owned <laughs> and I'm serious my mom had an original Maybelline compact from when um the business first, you know, started to come about. It was her mother's. And that stuff in that thing, that old, dried up, smelly, rancid crap in there was even better than these. Had better color payoff. I don't know what it is about these. And I've seen these a lot on YouTube. Uh, a lot of gals talking about how 
somewhere along the line, Maybelline left out a critical ingredient in their formula when they put this, this line out because these really blow. Now, when I got this one, I was really excited. And I rushed home and I washed my face off just to do a look with them. And imagine my surprise <laughs> when there was nothing there. And the odd thing is, and I think if you go over to look at Emily Noel, she her, she says the same thing on her channel. That when you swatch them, the color is on your fingers. You can see it there. But when you swatch it on your hand, it's like it doesn't transfer. Well, that brown one is. Of course it is. <laughs> but it just doesn't, I don't know, it just does not transfer like it should. And I cannot get any color Maybe it's just because I want hooker color. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not exactly known for having subtle color on my face, you know. But I, I don't, I don't like them. I don't like them. They don't, they don't pull off what I want them to pull off. And I feel like I got to dig in the compact to get anything remotely close to what I want. And um, I don't know why I kept them. I don't know why I didn't take them back. And this is the other one. Now, this first one was called, oh gosh, Sandstone Shimmer. And they're just gorgeous, gorgeous colors, you guys. A beautiful gold, a nice chocolatey brown, um, a really nice shimmery white. And the white actually isn't too bad. That one's not too bad. It actually transfers pretty good. But then I got dark skin, so any kind of white, you know, white dog poop's going to transfer on my skin good. Um, but yeah, the gold, just nothing. The purple, it just didn't work for me at all. And this one in um, Autumn Coppers was even worse. <laughs> Which, you know, look at how dark I am, and that is not surprising. I'm going to swatch this one for you. And you see those? That one's really bad. This one, my thumb, is the darkest color. I mean, that's just... Again, the, the lightest color is the only one that really shows up on on my skin, and that's it. Well, not even really that much. I just I just didn't like him, and I am by far from the first person to be saying these about these compacts that I'm just throwing all over my floor. That's how I felt about them. Okay, second thing, or third, or fourth, or whichever one it is. Uh, got this at Ross, and it's the Sally Hershberger Bust Out Body Style Primer. It's in a hot pink and gold bottle. It was only a buck ninety nine. I have purchased some really good Sally Hershberger products for Ross that I loved. So I grabbed this. Um, it says that it uh, normal to thin hair, gives hair guts, boost performance, and styling products. Okay. So I was excited to get this home and try it. You know, I'm always looking for something to boost my hair. Well, I get it home, pump a little bit out in my hand, and I'm almost afraid to do it because of it. And the smell. Oh my god. Oh my god. The smell is... <laughs> Why do I keep doing it? The smell smells like a stagnant pond that has been disturbed. That's what it smells like. I mean, when I first, and I didn't even smell it, I sprayed a big old puff in my hand, rubbed it like this, put my head to the side, and I'm going like this, and I'm like... What in the heck is that smell? And I'm looking around, you know, I'm looking under the sink in my bathroom. I'm putting my head down by the P-trap, you know, under the sink, the P-trap to see if, you know. No, it's this stuff. It smells like raw freaking sewage. Believe it or not, <laughs> maybe that's why it was at Ross. I don't know, but uh, yeah, if you see the hot pink or a hot, um, almost a foil pink, and gold Sally Hirschberger Style Primer Plus for normal to thin hair, run. <laughs> I, I, won't even, I won't even give that away. No. Okay, and my last absolute crapper. This was probably my biggest disappointment. Only because I love this kind of stuff. And I'm on that whole, you know, I'm on that weight loss journey since January 1st that I have been actually documenting and making videos. I just haven't had the nerve to put it up. So one of these days, you're going to see it. But um, sea salted dehydrated string beans. They have them at, or at a Walmart. I love fresh string beans. I can sit down. I can steam up a bag. Um, just sprinkle a little bit of Tony Sach uh, Sachery's. 
Yeah, Tony Saturay's on it, and I can eat the whole freaking bag. I love them. With no butter, just, you know, just uh, steamed with Tony Saturay's on them. I love them. And so, of course, I thought that I would... You know, I, when I saw these, I was like, oh, yeah. I couldn't even wait to get out of the store. But, you know, I'm a bigger gal. I wasn't going to go breaking it open and shoving them in my face in Walmart. So I get out to the car. I put my bags in the, you know, and I get in the car. And I nonchalantly reach back to her. Mm -hmm, and I grab these beans and pull them around and open them and pop one in my mouth. And, oh, they are horrible. They're horrible. For one thing. They're sweet. I don't know what they did to them. Nature's harvest. But these are sweet. They they taste like a... Um, like the undertone of a sweet pickle, which I hate sweet pickles. And that's what these taste like. Also, they taste like tin cam. Now, I realize that green beans have a little bit of a tin canny taste to them. But it's been from my experience, it's been my experience that... Fresh green beans didn't have that taste. It was only green beans that were in a can, canned green beans, that would seem to absorb some of that canny flavor or something. You know, I've never tasted that in fresh green beans. But these taste like I'm munching on the inside of a tin can. They're just absolutely horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I have not even ate a whole one. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might put these in a... Uh, I might put these in a uh, in my little steamer, steam them so they get, uh, you know, rehydrate them just a little bit and try to put some kind of a different seasoning on them and um, dehydrate them again because I got rehydrators, dehydrators, I got all that fancy stuff in my kitchen. So I'm thinking I might try that with it because that was $4. $4 for what basically amounts to a can of string beans. Um, super disappointed because I love these things, but yeah, they, they taste sweet, like they have a sweet pickle flavor to them. So... That is my crapper video, you guys. Um, the items that I have shown you are things that uh, I did not just get them, you know, the other day or a couple days ago. Um, but other than that, all of these things are just items that um, I will never repurchase them. I won't give them a second chance. Except for the Pure Minerals, I will give the brand a second chance. But I won't be trying these again. And I'm just going to end up chucking these unless somebody wants to give a holler out and say I'll take them. Because um, I've got uh, Beauty So Clean right here. That, you know, if anybody wants anything I ever show that I don't like, my kids are all gone now. So um, I can just spray it with Beauty So Clean and send it to you. I don't have no problem with that. So give me a holler. I love you all so much. I hope you like this video. I am going to attempt to edit it down to something below um, insanity. <laughs> okay, I really am. I love you all so much. And I will see you in my Saturday Smileys. I actually you know, look for a video coming up here in tomorrow or the next day. I've got a surprise video coming up. All right? Alright. Bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I actually am coming on and adding this in at the end of the video. Um, today only at Ulta, the IT Cosmetics Feel the Moment Primer, which I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but it is the most gorgeous thing that has hit the market. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to get it. This two-day only, two-day only Wednesday, it is um, the 21 Days of Beauty sale at Ulta, and it's $20. And this was normally $38, I believe, $40. Bucks. So, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous product. You have to get it. If you have $20 extra dollars, run down to your Ulta and get a bottle of this, because it is. there's nothing like it. There's